Well, here we are with a open air hive. Mr. Keith gets the phone call and I come running for a video opportunity. We're gonna try to save them. I'm gonna try to save the bees because these girls, once it freezes, they will not survive. We've got what, one, three, four, five combs? So what I'm doing, I'm, I'll put a little bit of smoke. Get up close so you can see. Right them, here yes. where it's hooked to the tree so I can get them away so I can cut this. I see a high beetle. Oh no, we gotta kill the queen then. Can't have high beetles. So I carefully grab the comb. And it on the rubber band. I got it cut loose. You're standing on my rubber band, boss. Too late now. All right. All right. So. Put the ladder. But it won't fall. It's going to fall if you don't lay it flat. I need to move it this way because. Probably so. You need to go with trying to get this one off because that would probably be perfect size to go on this side. Hey now, well, I couldn't have them laying there for a reason. Now, how am I gonna get my hand in there without getting stung? That I don't care. I'm making the video. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see you dance. Just a Okay. Your comb is supposed to be rolling the other way, Bob. I got backwards. Keep it orientated the way it was. It's just like that. Okay. Oh, well. All right. This technique right here was devised by Master Beekeeper Keith Bodet, summertimebees.com. ball up here and just decide to stop and stay here. Mm -hmm. right. I'll get just slightly. Oh no we don't have the queen down there in the box because they're already roaring. Case. I'll just get one out of the truck. Keeping motto, always be prepared, which we're not. I mind it went out. Gotta restrike it. Oh, that's 
Yeah, maybe you have to do it. I stand here and pick up a big snow. Is that How hot do you for it yet? Was it in a building or a tree? It was in a plow planter about waist high. Did it have cotton? No. They just swarmed out. And one of the ladies I used to work with called me and said, hey, you got a swarm out there. Plow swarm. It was about a four pound swarm. Nice, beautiful tiger stripe. Slowly move my hand on this height, on this cone, so I can hold it. Mm -hmm. Do they like it? I probably not. I'll do this. Yeah, I like it better. It's too late in the year to be making a new queen. Feel free to steal his idea of how to do that, but also send royalty checks. <laughs> Only thing I really see that that does different is keeps you from trying to slide it over to all the bees when they're on there. I'm gonna count to see how many it is. One, two, three, four, four five. Oh, what's a bunch of them? <laughs> got some, uh, got some cat brood right here. Got a little bit of brood right there. Just a little bit of smoke to get them away where I'm gonna cut it. The only place I put the smoke is where I'm gonna cut. Hopefully that ran the queen to the inside if she was on the outside too. Carefully. Now these are feral bees because Keith and I both are state inspectors and there's nobody got bees around here. And you see my hand stuck in that eye with a butcher knife. Neither one of us are wearing anything but a veil. I'm even commando style. I don't even know you don't have no underwear on. <laughs> Man, you know what? We ain't hydrating enough. We ain't hydrating none. I pointed that out in that extracting honey with you video. Hydrating Monica's like, oh my god. <laughs> All right, you turn that thing around. I got the bottom on, on this left hand. Yeah. Turn. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 
all we're really doing is we're taking a rubber band and looping it in each other, making a long rubber band, and we're putting it from corner to corner. That way we're not having to slide that rubber band down that frame and pinching the bees. And roll bees and kill bees. Everything I got needs gloves. Need a couple more staples. You get some cheap. You want to put one staple in each corner? Uh -huh. oh, God. That ain't bad. We just got a few bees on the board. It's holding it pretty good, ain't it? Eggs. Beautifully white larvae. Beautiful white larvae, brother. All right, let's see if she's up there on what's left. Something keeps hitting my hand. I can't imagine what it is. I haven't figured out what all these insects flying around your head is. Well, they got some pollen. One thing we did not find so far, no honey. Yep. See her. Like I did that? Yeah, I love how you did that. Now all the bees are on this side and the damn sure can't see her. <laughs> Man, they all over my hand. Maybe we'll get to see a, a Keith. Ow! Keith only. Maybe we'll see a, oh my Juke, gosh, that Juke hurts. Juke driving oil. Ow. I have bees literally crawling all over my hand right now. You're gonna need to try to lay your side. Hey, yes, sir! <laughs> <laughs> Dang, he didn't scream and cry like normal. Woo, it hurts. Y'all see her yell out. They're fanning like she's on here though. They're fanning in there? No, they're fanning on this frame like she's here somewhere. I got some that lovely. You see her? No, that lovely smell though, that amazing off with her. Saying, come here. They got 
propolis all over this tree right here. So you guys know what I'm talking about. Look right down here and see those bees fanning. She might be up here in this. Uh... That's fanning the nasal off pheromones. Come here. Well, this one got a solid black tail right here. We don't see her. We're gonna go ahead and put it in the box. They show you the march in those videos. Look at them. She is in there. She's in the box. Look at them. They're marching right on in. They're saying mama's in the box. So we got her. I almost guarantee that by the way the bees are acting. Just look at the way they're fanning that tail. Stuck up in the air. You guys have never smelt that. It's not quite a lemongrass smell, but it's close. What Keith is doing. Putting a nail in the tree. Putting a nail in the tree and he's gonna put the swarm trap back up there for them to move back into. Yeah. See all this? See all this propolis right here? And this honeycomb? Lifer ain't got a chance at all catching bees in this area because this is my tree. Look at there. He never he never beat me right here. This is guaranteed. That's money right there. All day long, that's money. That will bring them in next year. Mm -hmm. Well, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching, Wooly Bees.